We're nearly there. Mm. We're nearly there, guys. We're so close. We are so close. And for what it's worth, the streak is back on. So, mm. hey, that's, that's, a, that's mm. a bit of a point mm. there. Anyway, um, it is time for, and I haven't even, this is how organized we are, I haven't even gotten out of the box. Be ready with the tank our day for the, yep. um, the, the observation and the revelation. Quick fire. <sighs> boom, boom. And this one, not to say this one's going to guess itself, oh. but the... Um, this one's the the um it's narrowing it's really yeah. narrowing this one can be either the blended whiskey by Loch Loman or it's going to be question mark mm. and based on the nature of that head I think we might already be looking at the blended whiskey so let's, let's see, see if we yeah. get any sort of the signature a signature of the signature out of this one mm. there we go another one of our slightly larger sample bottles good to see Waiheke Mm -mm. And that is looking pretty middle of the road, color-wise. What do we got? Yeah. It's not looking explosively colored. If it no. has been colored, it's been done with, with respect, tact, with care. Yeah. yeah. Which you like to see. Mm. So, on the nose. Mm. Mm. Restrained, subdued even. With a hint of spice. A though. heck of a lot going on. As we were cheekily discussing, mm -hmm. it would be a bit weird to put the Loch Lomond in as the last one. So, <laughs> thinking probably some something spe utterly spectacular and it'll so. completely throw us for Christmas Day, which would be a mystery. Yeah, which, which is of course like bitterly against the um, the spirit of blind tasting, but um, we couldn't help ourselves. So I'm looking, I'm looking for um, the Loch Lomond signature in here is what I'm going to be looking for. Mm, I think that's it. There is a good whack Ooh. of grain, isn't there? Yeah. Mm. Is there much Loch Lomond? Hmm. I'm usually so good on Loch Lomond. It's got that, I always describe it as a weirdly medical thing. Hmm. It's got its own kind of funk, but it's almost the reverse funk of Campbellton. It's got its own weird thing going on. But this otherwise does check out for a blend, doesn't it? 40%, I'm certain. Hmm. Plenty of grain on the nose and on the palate. It's nice, though. Yeah, no, it's a very refreshing, pleasant, accommodating dram. Welcoming. If this was... If I was to put this in a lineup, mm. this would beat quite a few... I don't want to burn brand bridges already, but <laughs> this would, you know, like Famous Grass would be a few steps behind this one. Um, this is doing okay for itself, but yeah, young, blend... It's got to be the Loch Lomond. It's hmm. got to be Loch Lomond. Sure. Um, if only either of us had tasted the Jolly uh, <laughs> signature, well, then we could be absolutely sure. But mm. um, unless, like, it would be too cruel, right? It would be too <laughs> cruel to have a blend and then a slightly different blend just at the end, just for, like, an absolute, absolute having a, having at from behind. That's, no, 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 no. No, uh, they, they, we're not dealing with monsters here. Mm -hmm. um, tricksters, maybe, but not monsters. Um, so, and with probably our record time, mm. I think we're, I'm only, I can only go the Loch Lomond Jolly. signature yeah. here. Yeah, let's see it. Shortest episode in the tin. Imagine mm. that. Well, you've all got things to do. It's the day before Christmas. Mm. We're saving you time. 24. There we go. I'll be right. I'll be wrong. What? Okay, we're both. Nope. Um, Klansman. Blended, blended Scotch by, by Loch Lomond. Lomond. So yes, it's Loch Lomond. Yeah, we, Excellent. We, we've got the point. Yeah. I don't know what Klansman's supposed mm, to be. We Not maybe we needed to dig a little bit deeper. Yeah. On the Loch Lomond by Loch Lomond, mm. they only mentioned their signature. Mm. Klansman's got like a... A special sort of a custom uh, blend? Klansman's got like a... Hmm. An even cheaper vibe to it. Yeah. Well, like, we um, have time. I'm going to consult Doctor yeah, Internet. Okay, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, Klansman, I feel would be on the list next to something called Highlander and <laughs> a recent, not so much of a banger. I tried recently, Sir Edward, um, you know, Highland Master, Hundred Pipers. It sounds like one of those, like super duper basement hmm. budget ass blends, but it's not one I've heard of, and it's. I think it's doing okay for itself, taste-wise. All right, go into the Loch Lomond group website. Just to show just how we oh, intense deeper, our huh? research is. Here we go. Okay. Oh, you're old enough, Dave. Oh no, he has to accept the cookies. The cookies, yes. Uh, oh, now he's no, now he's old enough. Good. Yes, yeah, I'm at least eighteen years old. The high oh, commissioner. Right. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Uh, okay, scrolling down. Clansman. Clansman. Clansman captures the heart and soul of Scotland in this fine whiskey. A blend of our finest grain and malt whiskies aged to perfection in oak casks. This smooth and easy to drink whiskey has hints of soft fruit and sweet vanilla. No lies detected. It is a tasty, Checks bad, out. accessible whiskey. Aged, yeah. aged to perfection, they mean exactly three years, but mm. uh, we can't fault them on that. With uh, some top dressing, though. I think this says some older whiskey has dived into maybe, just to add some maybe. little bit extra richness. I think this is perfectly pleasant. Yeah. Um, if I could find this for cheap, I would surely drink it. Oh, yeah. Uh, probably with ice and a handful of almonds and mm. a TV show. Um would be my would be my go-to for this Make one. Make a killer cocktail, perfectly too. Pleasant. This would be a very good mixing whiskey, I think. Ooh. Depends on the cocktail. Sure. Um, if you would, I, I like I like spirit cocktails, and so then the spirit matters. If you're going for a longer drink, yeah, um, which I wouldn't, because I think longer, I think whiskey long drinks are disgusting. Um, but like old fashioned, hmm. maybe someone that didn't like hmm. you giving it to a relative or oh, some yeah. someone someone new to that. It's like yeah yeah this is totally an old fashioned. Hmm. I used whiskey. Um, uh, but yeah, no, just a big fat cube is how I'd enjoy this mm. one. Big fat cube, handful of almonds, where you go. Um, your favorite, your favorite TV show. So when you say fat cube, you mean ice cube, right? Not like a a a robust cigar, as in Cuban. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, that would probably guess, that would probably work too. Mm. Uh, probably a bit of a disservice to the fat Cuban, but um, <laughs> but no, I, I mean I mean the traditional. Cuba traditional ice. one yeah. yeah no that'd be a nice it'd be especially on a hot summer's day like christmas often is here in the wonderful southern hemisphere yeah well that's the good news dave mm. the bad news and the good news for anyone hoping for our traditional hopelessness <laughs> is that we have for the lucky last christmas day a present to everybody an absolutely blind yeah. guess we have no hints left from our our wonderful bingo board only the question mark of mystery, it'll be tomorrow's Christmas gift will be something unknowable, something unfathomable, something... Or will it? Oh, yeah. Maybe it will be something mm. novel. Maybe there's something... Maybe, maybe it's so in truly special we'll without know. clues. But yeah, no, we're going to have to leave the gear behind now. Free climbing up on Christmas Day mm. with nothing but the abyss. So join us then, and we'll see how we'll see it goes. Tomorrow. Thanks for sticking with us. Slandra, wish us luck.